the goods. I have the goods. Y'all already know we in Atlanta right now. It's part part in the beginning of the video, cause hell, boo. I didn't know the drive through wasn't working, but yes, sir, got the goods. You in Atlanta? You gotta come and get the goods. JJ's. Look at that. Look at that, cause that's a thumbnail, ain't it? You ready? JJ's chicken and fish. I got some good old. I'm saying chicken with the special sauce. I got some good old gizzards for the boodoo. Now, we to get to this video. Let's do it. I ain't got no trays. Cause! Yo, what up, what it is, and what to do. This is your favorite cousin, and I am back with another banger. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell notification so you can be notified when your favorite cousin posts another video. Y'all already know the vibes. I'm in my second home, Atlanta. I know what y'all waiting on. Everybody keeps saying they waiting on the moving to Atlanta vlog. <laughs> but I'm back in Atlanta. What we have prepped for us is some good old JJ's chicken and fish. I got the one with the gizzards and the chicken and some good old fries. Did he give me ketchup? Boo gave me ketchup and hot sauce. Before we get to this good old bite, let's go ahead and get this prayer. Cause bow your head. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bow. Girl, I had to call the man to see how to let the windows up on this Jeep. Bye, head. God, thank you so much once again for the food that you have prepared before my body, Lord God. Thank you for safe travels. Lord God, thank you for everything that you're doing in my life, Lord God. Thank you for just the breath in my body. Thank you, Lord God, for always protecting us and covering us with your glory and your grace. Ask for me no nerves, Lord God. Allow me traveling grace as I go through Atlanta all weekend, Lord God. I just want to say thank you. In your name, I pray. Amen. I just be closing my doggone ass at, during the prayer. Just anywhere. Don't know where I am, what I'm doing, or where I'm fit to go. Now, I'm fit to do it. Not the goods. Let's go in and get into this. Boy, I gotta chill because I'm in somebody else's car. Because, you know, I had rented this car. That's the gills. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Hold up, not having it. Cause I'll tell you what, Gizzards, Gizzards probably would be one of my favorite parts of the chicken. I just don't never cook them. Mm -mm -mm. It's true. Yeah. But mm. I feel it doing. Look at that. What you know about this? Look at What you know about a peach fago? What you know about a, what a peach fago? Down south hood, baby. You know about that? Yes, we do. I needed that. No. Excuse me. That was from all that, that party and I did. That was from the festivities I participated in last night. These gizzards are truly busting. Mm. Now, a lot of y'all be like, cuz, get extra salt. I'm still chewing. Mm. A lot of y'all always tell me to get extra sauce, and I always forget, or either I just don't want the extra sauce. I like the sauce that be on the top of it. I do. You see that? It's that specialty out here. Mm mm mm. <clears throat> Looks like a. Going. Why that light on? Why that light on right there? Girl, I don't know nothing about this car. It's like a lemon pepper sauce that they put on there. They gave me the smallest wings they had, and now they did it. Right, really help us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's the difference for me. I'm not gonna enjoy my meal. What time is it? It's 11.30. I ain't ate all morning. Mm. 
Busting. Busting. Everybody coming. What's under them? Bro, I'm getting bread. Hold up. Hold up. It's some bread. It was some bread under there to make a sandwich. It was some bread under there to make a sandwich. It was. It was some bread under there to eat your chicken and hot sauce. Put up a look. man part of that plan no I did not but what a nice surprise you know when you down south I don't know about y'all cuz I think down south we just do a lot of stuff and down south when you be eating that chicken with that bread you used to have hot sauce they did put some hot sauce in there but when I didn't have to eat that like that mm -hmm. but back in the day hmm Back in the day, you know, when your grandmama didn't have a lot of money when we was growing up, and all the kids used to be there, everybody get one piece of chicken, and that bread was gonna hold you over. You get what I'm saying? That bread was gonna hold you. <laughs> the bread was gonna hold you over. Everybody get one piece of chicken. Damn. Everybody get one piece of chicken and you get your excuse me. A, excuse me. A piece of bread or two. And that bread was what gonna hold you over. You get what I'm saying though? So for them to put that bread on him, it took me back to my roots. It did it. It truly did it. Back in the day we used to all go stay at grandmama's house. And there used to be about ten of us. And she go get that pack of chicken and two loaves of bread. She did it. And she'll sit there, she'll cook all that bread. She did it. Everybody got one piece of chicken. And a, and a piece of a uh, slice of bread or two. It took me to my roots. Mm -hmm. um, hold up. Hey, Diamond. Damn. What I love the most about Atlanta, it was like the little hidden gems that they got. JJ's ain't no hidden gym. But like in Dallas, you can't really get like that I know of. You can't get like gizzards and stuff like this nowhere. You can't. Right, get it help us. Anyway, we're not gonna be alone. Oh, let's go ahead and get into this conversation. Cause oh, I'm in ATL, y'all already know. My second freaking home. I'm in Atlanta again, once again. And a lot of people are like, why are you always in Atlanta? For one, my mom lives here. I know I don't have a lot of money yet, but what happens is when I'm in Atlanta, Southwest will drop a sale. I'm not buying Southwest no more, but I'm fit to tell you why. Southwest will drop a sale. So like every time I'm here, like by the time I leave, they'll drop a sale and I'll catch a flight for like 90 bucks, $95. So excuse me, you can't beat that with a stick. Hell, that's filling up the car two times, ain't it? So I just book me a flight to Atlanta every month because... <clears throat> Excuse me. Cause my thing is like I wanna see my mom every month anyway. You know, when I was working my full time job, I would go like eight, nine months without seeing my mom because I was working all the time. So now that through the grace of God, like I'm able to get here, I come see my mom like every month. So I'm giving her her flowers while she's here. Cause my mom lives in Atlanta, of course, and I live in Dallas. So that's really why I'm in Atlanta so much. And I know a lot of y'all are waiting on that. I'm moving to Atlanta vlog. Just Hold your mule. <laughs> anyway, let me tell y'all. I got so much to freaking tell y'all in this video. I do. So we're gonna eat chit chat. Okay, let's start with the Southwest flight. Oh Jesus. Southwest gave very much spirit. Spirit. I did it. Southwest gave very much spirit. They did it. They did it. Oh look. No. Y'all don't know. I already know my camera be showing this behind. I'm talking about temperature and stuff, but. Okay. I'm good. Now, my flight left Dallas um Wednesday Wednesday night. Was supposed to leave spit. I did. I'm just spitting out on these people. Call they gonna kill me. I got chicken everywhere in the people call. 
Girl, it's just chicken everywhere in the people car. We him. I'm gonna have to get these people car clanked out. Damn, I'm, I'm nasty. I, but my plane was supposed to leave at 6.30 Wednesday night from Dallas. So I'm headed to the airport. If you watch the vlog, T minus X. Well, a lot of y'all don't watch the vlog. So if you watch the vlog, you know. But I'll have to tell my people, you know, on my mukbang channel over because a lot of, you know, they don't, you know. But so I'm like excited to go to the airport. So I leave the house for the airport at 3 o'clock. T minus 3 o'clock. On my way to the freaking airport. My, now, mind you, I board at like 530. On my way to the airport, I get an email that says Southwest canceled my flight. They literally canceled my flight so i'm like i bored in like an hour and a half and y'all decided to cancel the flight like what an inconvenience so it's like four o'clock right now and i'm like oh snap like what the hell so i'm looking online to see let me do my gears i'm a gears i'm a gears Still trying to get this. So I'm like looking online to see if I can get me another flight to Atlanta, whether it was that night or maybe the next day or something. So I get online and I see that they have a flight leaving. I think it was at like five and they were boarding at like 430. I'm looking at my watch, it's like 358 or something like that. It was like, it was close. And I'm like 20 minutes from the airport, it's traffic. I gotta park my car. Oh, Jesus. I have to park my car. I have to check my bag and I have to go through security. Mind you, I'm early for my first flight. So in my mind, like I'm doing good on the time because you know, boom. I was early and everything. Like I was excited to get here this time. So then boom, I, I was like, all right, I can make it to the 4.30 one. They board at 4.30. They don't leave till five. It's it's four o'clock. As long as they don't leave me, I'm fine. So I booked the, that second flight, the one that was leaving earlier. Cause keep up, you got to keep up. If you're not gonna keep up with the story, cause rewind it. No, I just uh, my camera tripping again talking about temperature so then boom so i get this flight okay you keep it up now you good all right babe. you caught them you got up all right cool so i get the earlier flight so i'm headed to the airport they leave at like five o'clock it's like four o'clock i get to the airport at like 4 15 park my car no shuttle i'm looking like where in the heck is the shuttle the shuttle gets there like 4 25 mind y'all they board at 4 freaking 30 i'm just like shh so then I look at my phone and it was like delayed 10 minutes. I'm like, okay, thank you, Lord. Like, so of course, I the shuttle comes, check my bag, I go through security. Security was a breeze. It was like everything was divine and everything was perfect. So I get to the gate, excuse me, and everybody's still waiting. My mom dropped a little late, but I didn't board to like B, no C because I had just got my ticket, literally just got it. So I get to the gate and we just all sitting there. And I'm like, okay, five o'clock. Now, mind you, this flight came with a connecting flight. So, I had to fly to Houston and then come to Atlanta. It was just a shit show. It was just a shit show. So, then, boom, we waited. Now, mind you, the flight in Houston leaves at 7.15. We didn't leave Dallas until 6 o'clock. Like, that, now, mind you, we were supposed to board at five at 4.30, leave at 5. We didn't leave Dallas at, like, 6.12. So, all of us on the plane were looking at it like we all have connecting flights. How are we going to make this freaking flight? So, then, boom, we finally leave. We land in Houston, y'all. This is a true story, boo. Southwest is can go to hell. We land in Houston at 7.10. We literally land at 17. So we had to run from this gate to this gate in order to make it to that gate. And when we got to the gate, they were closing the gate. I said, no! Lord, I done did all this for nothing, Lord. Don't let it be in vain. Please don't let it be in vain, Lord. Don't let it be in vain. So we were just like, no, 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 no. Please don't close the gate. He did not close the gate. We made our second flight. We made our second flight from Houston to Atlanta. And I got in Atlanta later than expected, but I got here. I, I don't know what's going on with Southwest. I later learned that a lot of their pilots and um, flight attendants are on strike or either got fired because they don't want to get vaccinated or whatever. I don't even like to say that word on the channel. They don't want to, you know, get the Vaseline or whatever. So that's why they've been canceling flights. So if you got to fly, nine times out of 10 would not recommend. I wouldn't recommend it. If you got to fly, Listen, I'm not down to no nothing, but Southwest gave very much spirit. It did it. And then when I booked my flight so late, I was like in seaboarding 
and I was like the last one of the last ones on the plane and it sounded like a freaking basketball game but <laughs> it was just all in all I tell you what I did not let any of that stop me from getting to my destination I said all of that to say this sometimes when we go through these detours and we go through these bricks and we go through these walls and we think we can't get through them that's God's way of showing us like slow down and I got you you got to go through some things to get to your destination. And a lot of people who would have went, went through what I went through probably would really have been like, you know what, I'm going to just catch me up like tomorrow. Like, I'm going to stay at my sister's in Houston. Or I'm going to stay in Dallas. But I was just like, you know what, God, whatever you have for me is for me. I'm going to just keep going to my destination. I will not be stopped. And whatever you have for me in Atlanta, like, I know it's going to be something amazing because ain't no way you done bought me through all of this for no reward to be at the end. And anytime that I'm going through something, like, I always, like, um, I always know that God is going to have, like, a reward in the end for me. Because life ain't perfect. I went through hell and back that day. My day started horribly from the jump. Six o'clock that morning, my day was just a, a bad day from beginning to end. But it's the perseverance for me to just freaking keep going. Because, you know, you never know what's on the other side of that destination. You never know. You just never know. This Jeep is burning oh, a lot of gas, ain't it? This Jeep burning a lot of gas, ain't it? I just got it. I, I just got it and a quarter tank is gone. Now, we not fit to do this. Anyway, <laughs> so y'all, that was that was my Southwest story. I'm just over here venting. Last night, we hung, I hung out with Batty Twins, Tran and Nene, Flavors by Dame Dash, and Tam's Table. We all went out last night and boom. Atlanta don't owe me nothing already and that was just day one so this is day two in Atlanta I'm I'm waiting on a move to Atlanta vlog to myself here I mean but on God's timing God's got a plan you know so we shall see what this entails we shall see what God has for us I ain't eat shit Ooh, I ain't eat nothing I ain't eat nothing let me just like, let me build a snack here. Look at that. Now, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do it. Oh! 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 Oh!